Is it that time? Huh? Yeah. Good evening, everybody. It's uh, May the 17th, 2022. I bring this uh, regular council meeting to order. Result of the agenda for the May 17th, 2022 regular meeting at council be adopted. Moved by Councillor White, seconded by Deputy Mayor Wintoni. Discussion? All in favor? Opposed? It's carried. Uh, Councillor uh, Delorier uh, may be coming a little bit later. He's just held up at work right now. Result of the minutes of the May 3rd, 2022 regular council meeting be approved. Moved by Councillor Bobbick, seconded by Deputy Mayor Wintoni. Discussion? All in favor? It's carried. Moving down to communications, 6.1. Result of the letter from the Bozeman and District Lines be received. Moved by Councillor White, seconded by Deputy Mayor Wintoni. Discussion? Councillor White. Well, the letter was from the Bozeman Lions relative to the accolades to one of our team members, were town employee, Lana Graham, and what a wonderful job she's doing there. And on behalf of Council, I'm sure you'll probably drop her notes, sir, but thank you to the Lions for complimenting Lana, and I encourage our administrative staff to do the same. Thank you. Further discussion? Yeah, just uh, yeah, pass on a congrats to her for uh, the outstanding work that she does. She's a huge asset for our community, and uh, I'll reach out to her as well. All in favor? It's carried. 6.2, result of the building <coughs> permits 1122 through 1622, with a total estimated value of five million five hundred and seventy six. Thousand and eight, or sorry, eight hundred dollars be received. Moved by Councillor White, second by Councillor Friesen. Discussion. All in favor? It's carried. Councillor Morio, um, you you may have to duck out maybe during the meeting. I I, I knew that you were busy, but if you have to, uh, it's all good. Yeah, uh, it should be good, but if I have to, I'll let you know. Okay, thank you. 7, 7.1, resolve the Director of Public Works report be received. Moved by Councillor uh, Friesen, seconded by Councillor Bobbick. Discussion? Councillor White. I don't know what a w WTP generator project is with MWSB. Uh, water treatment plant is WTP and the Manitoba Water Services Board. So they're providing a grant to cover half the cost for installing a generator and an auto transfer switch so that uh, when there's a power outage, it automatically kicks on the generator and there'll be some wiring uh, with that as well. Okay, and that became important with this recent uh, water issue that we've had that, that saved our bacon? Uh, it was with the, uh, when we have a power outage, we have a generator, but it doesn't automatically kick on. Our yeah. guys have to uh, start it. Yeah. So as long as the guys get to the plant right away, the pressure stays high and they turn it on and away we go. But uh, if they're delayed getting there, then the pressure drops. Mm -hmm. And that's why we had that boil water advisory a year or so ago. Mm -hmm. um, so that's, this was on the list to get added. I'm going to jump to the top of the list. and. Water Services Board agreed to partner with us on it, so they're providing a grant for half the cost. Great, thank you. Further discussion? Councillor Bobby. Uh, just seeing here, patching uh, potholes or something. Did we, did we apply for the grant through the province of Manitoba for, for population for patching repairs? That one, uh, the press release said there was more details to come to the municipalities, so I just emailed the CFO and asked them to let me know uh, if he hears anything, if we have to apply, or if it's just automatically distributed. Okay. Uh, jog my memory, but is there paving involved in the town of Toronto this year? There is paving. Yeah. Thank you. When do you expect that crew to be in town? Usually it's in August. Okay. Further discussion? All in favor? It's carried. 7.2.
Result of the April 2022 Swan River Handy Transit <coughs> Report be received. Moved by Councillor Bobbick, seconded by Councillor Friesen. Discussion? All in favor? It's carried. Seven point three council reports and CR reports. Start with uh, Deputy Mayor Wintoni. Um, I only have one item to report on today, and that is uh, with Parkland tourism. Um, I do believe that uh, the town of Swan River should be involved in the Parkland tourism catalog this year or advertising campaign this year. Uh, there is nothing being printed informal print for um, Valley in the Mountains tourism and I think that this is a great opportunity for for the town of Swan River to showcase uh, what we have to offer um, especially right now after COVID things opening up and opportunities for us in the tourism and economic development area so there are some uh, prices here that I can forward off or hand off to um, CAO pool for the team to review should we wish the deadline is fairly quick unless we want to uh, look at that later on in the meeting but other than that I have nothing else to report today okay I think just what's the deadline on that um, it was two weeks ago but there has been an extension to the end of May so okay um, I'm not sure if we'd get to it before another council meeting but uh, well, maybe we can even bring it up like at the cow or something like that yeah, absolutely yeah Okay, thank you. <clears throat> uh, Councillor Friesen. I um, had a museum meeting last night there, AGM, and um, good discussion. 29th of May, they're having a opening supper, and if anybody would like to come. It's open now, you can go and tour about, but the supper's not till the 29th. And so you said May the 29th? Yes. Supper's at 5. Okay. First come, first serve. What time? 5. <clears throat> It'll be local entertainment. And tomorrow afternoon, um, we have an age-friendly meeting. Manitoba Age Friendly Meeting here, two o'clock tomorrow afternoon. Tomorrow afternoon. That's probably it. Thanks. Okay. Councilor Morio. Um, I just had the uh, committee of the whole meeting with the rest of council last week, and uh, I just had a number of. Uh, Comments brought to me by our ratepayers that uh, how appreciative the town was in res being responsive over the uh, uh, significant rainfall with the power outage and the uh, knowing that the uh, utilities were looked after uh, immediately. So uh, if you want to just pass that on to the rest of the employees and that the public was appreciative of the, uh, utility and public works being out there cleaning the drains and. Uh, being responsive to uh, things were happening when we had that uh, big windstorm there and the rainstorm the other day. So all I have. I'll pass that on to the guys. Thank you. Um, Councillor Bobby. Thank you, Mayor Jacobson. Uh, just yeah, also attended the committee as a whole. Uh, just uh, kudos again to the staff and the management for uh, with the high winds and all the rain, things look really well in the town of Swan River, as far as I'm concerned, so went on good. Uh, just on the landfill, uh, thank you, Mr. Harvey, sent a couple of our staff out there to help, and I say help, the landfill attendants and the contractor out there that was picking up the large number of bags that were in that field. That is outside their job description, and they have been doing it for the last six years by themselves. It's just to be good neighbors with their neighbor out there. So I would just like to extend a thanks to the Trumbly family for doing that. So if we could uh, coincide that every year, they said they would very much appreciate the help coming out there. So kudos to them for doing that also. 
uh, watershed. Uh, we have a meeting tomorrow night, but I'll give you some basic facts on what monies are coming through the watershed. I'll just kind of describe it in more of a detail here. Uh, we'll have an annual operating grant of $225,000, which is approved. We have municipal match money, which is three to one at $75,000, which is approved. Egg action funding for the livestock watering projects, which is $46,000, approved. Grow trust fund for stream bank stabilization projects is $30,000 approved. Grow trust fund and incentive programs for $428,200 approved. And the Prairie Watershed Climate Program funding for cover cropping, nitrogen management, and rotational grazing for $604,000. So in total, the watershed will pass $1,408,200 through the valley this year. So we're excited about some of the new programs that are come out. So we're looking forward to we'll be seeing some advertising on the trade. These things are going. So. Also, I was just under the question, where are we at with Conrad's apartments? Uh, right now, the last contact we've got from the insurance companies is it will be late this fall before any decision is made. So, uh, but that, that's not holding us back on any decision on the building. It's just a strict what we want to do. If, if, if we want to demolish it, it's going to cost us around $80,000. Well, that was brought up during budget, but it was never put in. So uh, <clears throat> it is up for tax sale uh, right now. I guess I would recommend that we wait for that tax sale process and the chance that a private person uh, or group purchases it and, and wants to develop it and demolish the building themselves. That would be ideal. Uh, I would be looking for any alternative than the taxpayers to start setting the precedent of fixing these properties up. So am I under the impression that if it goes to tax sale, the town of Swan River will own it unless somebody else purchases it at the tax sale. So then we would be liable for the demolition of that building? If we want it demolished, yeah. So why would somebody buy it and take on the building? If we were going to knock it down. They knew that at the tax sale. Well, I guess we haven't decided that that's what we are going to do. So I don't know how much more we can talk about this without okay. being outside the camera. Okay. No. Just uh, there's been some repairs concerned. What's going to happen? So tentatively, it'll be sometime this fall at the latest. Can we say that? See if we can need Do you recall the date of the the tax sale uh, process? Uh, that property is not in the tax sale list. Okay, I was under the impression that it was. Okay, well, we'll just have to keep us informed, I guess. Wow, yeah. I have two items. Are we have an in camera session? No, we do have an in camera session. So yes. I'll just state that when we come to that. Sure. Okay, thank you. That's it. Okay, thank you. Councillor White. Uh, relative to Councillor Bobber's comments with the, the land south of the pit, I had a call from Derek Shaw, who was a landowner south of there. And I, I think Mr. Harvey had something to do with it. He says he can't believe how quick those guys got out of there and cleaned it off. And he has seeded it because he could seed it. Good thing he did what he did because then it's rained for three days. So from the farmer's perspective, he was pretty excited. So uh, again, I might thank them on our behalf also. Uh, I, on behalf of Swan Valley Sport Fishing, I want to thank the support of the community for uh, our dinner. It went well. And there's a, a woman of distinction, Amy Shaw, has just turned uh, her, a young 90s very recently, like about three days ago. So Amy, happy birthday from council. Pretty pleased with that. The uh, cow meeting committee of the whole, I was excited about the presentation that was just prior to that by Swan Valley School Division. They looked at some of their offices with the Northern Lights Institute of Technology, whatever that means and how they're trying to expedite without having to go through a lot of processes, activities in our community. Also, obviously, the Ukrainian uh, issue helping came up a lot, and the possibility of us providing space for them to have a parking, parking access by the proposed development on the uh, school. Uh, the immigrant services we met uh, last night, now I think about it, and they feel they have roughly 30 Ukrainian people coming in very shortly, and varying stages of. They sure were complimentary about our town council for the support since its conception, because often you know, we've been one of the first to send our monies to them. 
and that's become really important to their functioning. There, uh, we talked about uh, more partnerships for them. I asked uh, Gary Wolchek, the uh, superintendent or the uh, chairman of the board of Swan Valley School Division, to come to the meeting, and he expects interest in trying to help them out uh, in ways to maybe expedite, speed up, and became really apparent a lot of those Ukrainian people that come here, many of them have skills and education that's beyond the needs of the community. So one of two things, we have to find jobs for them or adjust their skills and be able, and that's where the school could step in and teach them some particular trades. So that's a work in process. And obviously not only is a humanitarian effect, it's uh, certainly an economic advantage for our community, the more we have. Uh, May the 17th, is that today? It is so. I had a long conversation with Ralph Betcher, and Ralph is the uh, chairman of the board for whatever the title is for uh, Living Word Bible Institute, and he sounds like they have roughly 30 people coming in there, 20 by the end of, and you know, I don't know where they get the money, but they have a, a mother there with two kids who can't go to work. Obviously, she has two young children. So they're getting her a stipend to live on, plus they provide a room and board. Uh, they're excited about the, the community coming, so uh, I said, hey, if council can help you, feel free to ask, and we can talk about that possibility. From the cataract perspective, I'm thinking of Alec Halischuk and his team. Uh, I just got a call yesterday from the uh, chief of staff from the Dauphin Hospital. They have another cataract specialist, an ophthalmologist, who is ready to come to Swan River to do work, and it appears that our hospital at the moment has enough nurses to expedite that process. So that's, uh, again, the Lions Club of Swan Valley uh, just uh, making things happen. So they're actually selling tickets today for that world also. And I'm uh, trying to set up a meeting with uh, the Manitou Métis Federation to look at some funding for the Métis kids who are taking the LPN programs so they can step into the uh, BN program. So that's a work in progress still. So uh, tomorrow, Age Friendly with uh, Council Fries and I, and tomorrow night, uh, Municipal Airport Commission. So we'll be seeing a lot of each other for the next few days. It's a busy time, but it keeps, uh, keeps us alive and well. Thank you, sir. Okay. <clears throat> We're glad that you're alive and well. Pardon me? We're glad that you're alive and well. well me too. More than you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, for myself, uh, I, um, I attended our vet board meeting. Um, some of the items that arose out of that meeting was uh, the building has not seen a lot of TLC for several years, probably since it probably was moved out there uh, uh, several years ago. So they're looking at some, some major repairs in the next few years. It'll be kind of staged, I guess you can say. Uh, one of the big ones is uh, the roof that needs to be done. It's, it's several thousand dollars to have that done. But the... the, the uh, the, the, the board has the monies to uh, pay for this. Um, I also had a chance with some of the other uh, board members to tour through the, uh, the clinic. And uh, they, it's been a long time since I've been out there, but um, they have a pretty busy clinic and uh, they do a lot of good work out there. And, and, uh, and it does the, the building does need some TLC. Um, so that'll be something that we'll be reviewing in the next uh, little bit. Um, now there had been some previous years surpluses we might want to say. And uh, so what we've done with that is we passed a resolution that in the, these three years and uh, moving forward that 50% of the surpluses will go into uh, a reserve fund that will be used for um, these types of things, repairs and maintenance and so on. So I'm glad to say also that the, the levy for the town of Swan River has, uh, has not increased. Uh, everything is basically status quo, which is good news and uh, uh, moving forward with that. Now, some people have asked me in the past the, 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 the rates that they charge at the clinic for different uses from small animals to large animals. And a lot of those charges, in fact, all those charges are actually mandated by the province. So this is a municipal um, uh, vet clinic and this is the reason uh, for those prices. Um, I wanted to say that in that reserve fund right now that we will have uh, moving forward will be approximately $34,000. Uh, next for me was the Swan Valley Health Facilities Foundation. I can report to you that uh, we are, we also have the, the, the foundation actually owns 
two properties that has a house that uh, we primarily house uh, uh, nurses that have been, I guess you can say the, uh, what do they call them? They, um, I'm trying to think of the word. Uh, nurses. Yes, so thank you. And so they've been staying in there. That house again needs repairs. So we we're looking at that and doing a review and overview of that uh, house and uh, the condo as well. But that house is used a lot and uh, it kind of tells you that how many nurses we really need. And uh, if, if we have that many uh, of these uh, contract nurses moving through there. Um, it's my responsibility to report to you that the, um, uh, the physician, or the, I guess we can say the medical recruitment fund, and the amount of money that is now sitting in there as of uh, March 31st, 2022, is approximately $1.3 million, as we know that we have committed about $600,000 of those funds to the CT fund, or CT uh, scanner fund. Uh, so that's moving forward as well. Uh, I'm sure that uh, we'll be hearing good news, hopefully, in the coming uh, months. Um, also, uh, the foundation has, um, I might have told you this, but I can't remember, that we have passed the resolution that $300,000 will come from uh, the foundation. So the foundation has committed up to $300,000 for the CT scanner um, uh, for uh, that, uh, pro uh, that uh, project. Lastly, with the foundation, uh, was announced uh, or they had informed us there that um, they have they feel that they have uh, recruited four LPNs and they now have two more RN positions filled in the hospital so that's a that's a good thing but they really need um, uh, more of the the LPNs and the nursing aid uh, people so that's kind of an ongoing thing I know that Councilor White has been working closely with as well as uh, the, the committee and with uh, Prairie Mountain Health uh, moving forward. Uh, it was mentioned that Swan Valley School Division that we met prior to our uh, Cal meeting and I, they, there's a few things that they had announced that they're working on, some projects that we can't probably share here right now. We'll let the school division have their uh, uh, shine on that. But uh, the Northern Lights Institute in Trade technology that's something that's moving forward and, and I think that's really exciting for our valley and the possibility of, of training individuals and recruiting and keeping them here in the Swan Valley I think that is so critical and they're working you know hard with um, MMF as well as Sapotoya Cree Nation and, and well actually even Wesque and, and uh, Pine Creek but that's the goal and, and some great ideas of what they're working on and Again, it was something that they had said that they're in the infant st stages of this and uh, it's moving along and some great opportunities I think that uh, will come about. We did talk a little bit about the um, Ukrainian refugees and how we can you know, formulate a, a community plan and work together and uh, not have you know, people working as uh, you know, uh, independently. So that's something that's still working. Uh, with uh, the uh, the chair and myself and, and immigrant services, um, what else can I say? The um, um, I want to say that the um, uh, the recent water, the floods that we've had. Um, I called Chief Janai, Chief Sastry, and also Chief uh, Nipponak, and reached out to them because some of their communities at one at points of this. Uh, last few days have been isolated, but they're kind of getting back uh, on their feet again and opening up the roads. And then I did actually talk with uh, Reeve Hansen here on Sunday, and he said the same and, and reached out, our administration reached out to theirs, and if we can support them in any way, that we would. So uh, a lot of things happening, but it's kind of scary how quickly this, what this water can do and, and damage and uh, and uh, isolate communities. Mafeking right now is an isolated community. It's hard to think that how that's even possible, but it is. And uh, the, the province is working hard. I know that the minister and I think uh, MLA Wolchuk was up there today and, uh, and they're working hard uh, with the uh, contractors to get those bridges back open again. And I think for that, that's basically it for me. Councilor White. Just a question, I, I, approve, I, approve this. I appreciate everything you just said. 
but just in case, the accommodations is a huge issue for so many things that were going on in our town, UCN, the school division. But that little house that you guys own or we own, the foundation owns, and the apartment is imperative that we maintain that because we're trying to recruit nurses. We'll have to bring them in for a day here, a day there. And any surgeons or anesthetists that we need to bring in, the apartment is two, two bedrooms, two bathrooms. It's a very nice place, and the house is, is basic. But I can't uh, stress enough that I'm so glad you're keeping both of them because there has been discussion about letting them go. Yeah, but, that was at the beginning of this term. I remember coming uh, into it, they were talking about selling, actually, the condo they're talking about selling it, but they decide to, as a board, to hold on to it just because, you know, we still had doctors using it, uh, some nurses using it, so and, and they do pay rent for it. They're not yeah. getting it for free. And same thing with the house, but right now we're focusing on the needs and, and updates and, and, and the, the, the responsible things of maintaining a, a piece of property. And it's not decreasing in value, unlike some things we spend our no. monies on. It's increasing in value that doesn't hurt to keep it there. Yeah. And we need it. Absolutely. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Mr. Poole. Uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, had a meeting today with the staff sergeant with the RCMP just to update council uh, on a, my periodic updates with uh, the staff sergeant. Uh, so they agree, they are still short staffed. Uh, they are aware of our ADM meeting and their priorities are, do align with ours, that uh, we do think a lot of our problems will be solved with a, a GIS unit in Swan River. Uh, in, in terms of communication, uh, you know, I commended them for when we asked for their information. They, they have been providing it in the recent months, and uh, we asked that they continue giving us not only negative stats, but positive stats as well, so we can, we can send that out and and let people know of the, the wins. They may be small, but they need to be communicated. Uh, and in terms on the, of the emergency, I just wanted to thank the staff. Even though we didn't <clears throat> have to use our plan, uh, everybody took it seriously, uh, took charge of the situation and did what they had to do. Uh, we were prepared, even though uh, those processes weren't used. Uh, just reviewing the, the water agreement with Director Harvey, so expect that uh, to come to council in the future. Uh, prepared, still preparing our lawsuit report for council to, for an upcoming Cal meeting. Uh, preparing our crime report, uh, or sorry, our crime reserve workshop for the end of May. Uh, and the, we'll be providing council with recommend, recommendations on the school division requests from our meeting last week and just multiple bylaw reviews including the accommodation tax and the business tax uh, so expect those in the future as well that's it okay on the uh, emergency plan I, I missed that actually but I do thank administration uh, for uh, working on that plan and everybody got to, to see what that uh, the details of that and it proves that you know we are prepared and, and uh, it, thankfully we didn't have to uh, go into that but uh, we are prepared and, and, and we will continue to work on getting uh, better at our plans as well so but thank you very much for that anybody else okay. 8.1 result of the report to council regarding the subdivision of SP Law 17 Plan 3203.5 from the Community Planning Branch be received. Moved by Deputy Mayor Wintoni, seconded by Councilor White. Discussion? Mr. Harvey. Uh, so if you just look at the map, all four lots of the subdivision have frontage access and backyard access so water and sewer wouldn't be an issue getting to any lots like they haven't mind locked anything so as far as uh, planning and development there's nothing to prevent this subdivision or we don't need any caveats or easements okay further discussion all in favor it's carried 8.2, 
result of Swan Valley Veterinarian Service District financial statements for the year ended December 31st, 2021 be received. Moved by Deputy Mayor Wintoni, seconded by Councilor White. Discussion? All in favor? It's carried. Eight point three. Result: The email dated May the seventh, two thousand and twenty-two, from the Swan Valley Veterinary, Veterinarian Service District, <coughs> advising that a resolution was passed to establish a reserve for major capital projects and repairs, and to transfer monies to the reserve, be received. Moved by Councillor Friesen, second by Councillor Bobic. This is what I was just mentioning earlier. Discussion. All in favor. Carried. 8.4 resulted the Northwest Regional Library 2022 budget be accepted as received. Moved by Councillor Friesen, seconded by Deputy Mayor Wintoni. Discussion? All in, her, all in favor? It's carried. 8.5 result of the town of Swan River cell 214 Athlone Street, lot 11, plan 1070 to Dwayne and Jeanette Tobin for $7,800. Moved by Deputy Mayor Lentoni, seconded by Councilor Morio. Discussion? Go ahead. Just to let Council know, uh, they did have a previous offer, but once uh, presented with the uh, conditions agreement that uh, something must be built on that property, it did decide to offer the assessed value that is recommended to be accepted. Right, okay. All in favor? It's carried. 8.6, whereas Prairie Mountain Health is participating in Rural Week program from May 30th to June the 3rd, 2022, which will bring two nursing students to Swan River. Therefore, be it resolved, the Town of Swan River grant to the students day passes for the pool for up to $60. Moved by Councillor White, seconded by Councillor Friesen. Discussion? All in favor? It's carried. 8.7. Result of the grant for the Swan Valley Youth Baseball, providing $1,731.45 to cover rental fees at Legion Park for three baseball diamonds, washroom, washrooms and concessions for July the 8th to the 10th. Provincials be approved for payment. Moved by Councillor White, seconded by Councillor Friesen. Discussion, Councillor Bobbitt. Has this been done in the past as when the provincials were held here? I don't, I don't know. I'm not sure. Director Fedorchuk, could you answer that? I can't really speak to that as far as the past, but I know there was a resolution when they were trying to do it two years ago and then COVID shut them down, I believe, but uh, maybe CFO Benita can comment on that. Go ahead. Fulganita? I would have to look back. Council White. Hey, we're bringing in 10 teams from across the province of Manitoba to spend their money in our community, buy gas, buy food, stay in hotels. It's costing us 60, well, we're not, we're losing 1600, not getting $1,600 per revenue. The community is more than going to benefit from that activity. Councilor Morio. Um, just like looking at the quote, um, the mound construction for the two diamonds, is that our staff that's going to be building that, or Director what's that fee for? Director Ford Orchard. Yeah, that's our staff that builds the mounds uh, prior to the, it'll be prior to the regional uh, competition actually in uh, June. Okay, is there any other services or work that our staff have to do before that that's included in that quote or? 
Uh, not that's included in the quote. We do have a bunch of improvements to do to the Legion Park in general, but uh, as far as that quote, it's just the mound construction. Okay, any further discussion? Councilor Freeze. What diamonds are they using, Brad? Uh, they're using diamonds one and three primarily for their games. The second is a practice diamond, but we're, I believe we just decided today that we're going to place a mound on that one as well. Uh, just because if they end up getting rain similar to the summer games here, they use diamond two and three because they drain really well and Jack Brown tends to get wetter. So, um, yeah, primarily one and three though. Okay, thanks. Council Morio. Um, I don't disagree that. Uh, bringing in a number of teams into our community is helpful for the business and stuff like that. But uh, um, this is part of our revenue that's in the budget for us well, for events like this. Um, and according to the quote, we're, we're expending man hours to, to accommodate this uh, request. Um, and I don't recall having um, money set aside or uh, budgeted for in the budget to uh, accommodate these types of requests, all that, and um, I think we're starting to go down a slippery slope with accommodating all the requests for uh, services in kind or facilities where we uh, build a budget on services and rentals, um, and now we're going down to uh, just uh, providing grants in lieu of all this uh, for it. So um, I. I'm, I'd be more in favor of uh, uh, covering a percentage of it, but uh, not the entire um, invoice. I'd be more of like looking at maybe like recovering um, at least our man hours and our labor uh, to accommodate that. But uh, other than that, uh, we're, yeah, it's, I think we're going down a slippery slope here of starting to offer grants for everything. Uh, Council White. I believe there's a, a recreation reserve fund, which we had those monies earmarked for provincial championships. Help me if I'm wrong on that one. We put some monies away recently and that was designated to go to provincials. Uh, if there's a concern, and I appreciate uh, my peers' comments, that money could be taken out of that reserve fund to pay that. But with, with that reserve, uh, Councillor White, uh, uh, that's for them to establish to get a program started, but that money has to be replaced from their revenues so that that balance maintains consistently. Deputy Mayor Tony, and then I'll go with uh, Director for uh, uh Just for clarity and, and for uh, maybe my knowledge too, isn't this the same group that has um, fundraised and built a a phenomenal piece of infrastructure that is on our property that is an asset to our town and they've done um, an amazing job to build a facility that I think is to support the town and other events within our within the community so I, I unless I'm wrong maybe this isn't the group but I was under the impression that it, this was the group that uh, has done something amazingly well for for that park in that area uh, that's true. Uh, Councilor uh, Mr. Uh, Ferroja. Director Ferroja. Sorry about that. I just got a call on the on call phone. I just need to be excused for one minute here. But I do have something to say. You want to say something or you come back? He has the admin on call phone, phone tonight. Oh, okay. Uh, Councilor Bobber. Uh, yeah, just on speaking on this, I. I, I Hear what Councillor uh, Morio was saying, but at the same time reading uh, the resolution here, I guess what I'm getting at is if we would know that we were going to support provincial playdowns or anything in the town of Swan River, that we need to budget for this stuff in the future. And I, I think with the, with the resolution, it states provincials, and I guess that's what I'm saying. Uh, in the future, Council Mary better look at budgeting for if there's provincial stuff to come to the town of Swan River that we would support it and. Uh, and not go down that slippery slope that Council Murray was speaking of that we would grant. To me, this would be something I would be in favor of because it is a provincial thing. Um, Director Fedorchuk, are you back again? I doubt it. 
Okay. Uh, go ahead. Uh, just uh, another comment. I, I do believe that, um, and I think that um, Mr. Fedorchik alluded to it, that this was a resolution that we did approve once before prior to COVID. Um, and they were they were cancelled out or that because of COVID it was cancelled. So I think this is resolution is coming back and I would hate for us to have made one decision one way and then um, we decide to make a decision the other way at this point. Director Fedorcha. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, as far as the resolution, I'm not sure if it was passed yet that, that we'd have to check on that for sure. Um, as far as what Councillor White brought up about the fund, I believe that's correct, Councillor Moore. I think it's ma meant for like the senior 55 games or bringing in another summer games that they'd have their own committee to be able to replenish that. And I, I could be wrong, I'd have to check to see if we're going to need it. Um, and uh, yeah, that's sorry, I just wanted to comment on that as well. Uh, and then we are doing improvements that were in the budget for these games just because uh, it's a safety concern, the Jack Brown outfield fence that's being done the week of yeah. the 30th. And the, um, the Legion Park path as well is going to be um, repaired, as well as some other aesthetics that, that are cosmetic issues like the painting on the benches and stuff like that. But that's all I had to add. Okay, thank you. Councilor Friesen. The group that did the uh, concession down there have asked them to have it open July 1st. So it'll be a way for them to actually fundraise too. And uh, hopefully their kids can play ball that particular nice. Friday. Um, because the provincials themselves are the weekend after. So if there's enough of them around, I'd already spoken to Mr. Boychuk and he said he would get back to me. So hopefully we'll have maybe a ball tournament July 1st too. Excellent. Councilor White. Uh, for uh, Director Fedorchuk, I'm sure you're privy to it, but uh, one year when we hosted some provincials, we got flooded out, which is on the verge of right now. They went to the junior high, and apparently the substrate there, there's more clay, more sand. They played a lot of games over there because they couldn't use the Jack Brown? Yeah, they, that, the junior high is uh, ineligible for competition now that they built the daycare. It's, uh, the field's too short. Okay. They built the daycare beside it. Um, Diamond 2 and Diamond 3 actually, and I don't know if you remember the summer games here, I was on the baseball kind of maintenance committee there, and it was it rained like crazy, but that park drains really well. It's just Jack Brown that gets really bad, but 2 and 3 drain really well with some wind and things like that. So, and unfortunately, we can't use our old minish as a backup either because the clay uh, product that's in the field just turns to soup with any type of type of moisture. So. Uh, we'd be primarily looking at two and three for a relief diamond. Um, we should stick to the conversation of the question at hand. Um, so um, uh, if there is no further discussion, I'll ask the question. But I will say, though, that if we're really uh, lucky to have Minor Ball uh, and uh, work on this project to, to have that building in our park. Uh, Councillor Friesen, did you have a question? No, I was voting. Okay. So all in favor? Opposed? It's carried. 9.1. Whereas on February the 24th, 2022, after months of troop and military equipment buildup, Russia began offensive attacks on sovereign Ukraine, threatening their form democracy. And whereas these Russian troops have been met with strong and courageous opposition from the Ukrainian military and citizen resistance. Therefore, be it resolved, the Dallas Swan River condemn the Russian invasion of Ukraine, stand with all Ukrainians and show its support for Ukrainian citizens fleeing their homes and country and to be welcomed to Canada, Manitoba and the Swan River Valley. Be it further resolved that the town of Swan River provide support to the Northwest Regional Immigrant Service Incorporated with a grant in the amount of $2,000 to go directly to the affected immigrant Ukrainian families in the Swan River Valley. Moved by Councillor White, seconded by Councillor Bobbick. Discussion? Councillor Bobbick? Uh, just reading the resolutions and with the G4 meeting, it was based on that all four municipalities would be involved and I'd like to give the other municipalities credits that have 
joined in this uh, effort to support the Ukraine, so I don't know if that should be something we should have in the resolution itself, or can we, or is this a resolution that goes to all other municipalities? The, this resolution is really confirming that all G4 agreed to this statement, so. It was originally written like that, but we, we couldn't confirm whether they were going to pass it. Okay. So I understand. I think once it's passed, I think maybe that acknowledgement uh, okay. can come at the next meeting, but more importantly, you know, in the media. Yeah, so I, in the media, I'm under the understanding that mayors and reeds can't be part of that at this point in time because of the upcoming election. No, that, that's incorrect. They, they can be. Okay. That, that date of April 30th was, was the last date that municipalities could pass that bylaw to enforce that. Uh, but th but that's it. It's still the 43 day period prior to the election, which starts in September. So that can happen. So there is an opportunity for that to be all presented at one through the media. Then that's right. Okay, thank you. I would I would expect that to happen. Help me. I believe one of the councils has already approved it. Two of them. Have. Two of the other three have. Swan Valley West and the Arm of Mountain have approved this. So resolution. three of the four have already approved it. Perfect. Thank you. Okay. Further discussion. All in favor? It's carried. 10.1. Resolve that the accounts as follows be hereby approved for payment. General accounts checks number 28862 to number 28894, totaling $308,882.92, as listed on Schedule A. Payroll counts checks number 5091 to number 5098, totaling $93,217.96 as listed on Schedule B. Direct deposits totaling $13,450.24 as listed on Schedule C. Moved by Councillor Bobbitt, seconded by Deputy Mayor Wintoni. Discussion. Councillor Bobbitt. Uh, check 28866, six. Centurion Management. That's the building inspector. And that is a building inspector from Marvel's So that's a private company that's our building inspector. Contracted. He's okay. a contractor. Okay. All right. Further discussion? All in favor? It's carried. 10.2. Resolve that the 2022 Northwest Regional Library levy in the amount of $98,142.30 be approved for payment once the audited financial statements for the year ended December 31st, 2021 have been received. Moved by Councillor uh, Friesen, seconded by Deputy Mayor Lintoni. Discussion? All in favor? It's carried. 10.3. Whereas subsections 306 of the Municipal Act provides that a municipality may cancel or reduce taxes upon receipt of assessment alterations from the Manitoba Assessment Services. Therefore, being resolved that the assessment reductions made by the Manitoba Assessment Services on May the 9th, 2022 for the 2021 tax year totaling one million two hundred and sixty dollars I'm sorry one thousand two hundred and sixty dollars and ninety eight cents be made to the property tax roll moved by Deputy Mayor Wintoni seconded by Councillor Morio and again I, I, I know I said one million but it's one thousand two hundred and sixty dollars and ninety eight cents all discussion all in favor? It's carried. That would be quite an alteration. <laughs> Ten point five. that the financial fin sorry financial statements for the four months ending April thirtieth, two thousand and twenty two, be adopted as received. Moved by Councillor uh, Bobic. So 10.4. Oh, I did miss one. Sorry, thank you. My screen moves around here. Oh, wow. 
You couldn't have done this at the last meeting, eh? <clears throat> Result that the following unpaid utility accounts be added to the corresponding property tax rolls and notice be sent to each property owner detailing the amount being added to the taxes and advising that interest will accrue on the said amounts in the same manner as for unpaid property taxes effective June the 1st, 2022. Utility account number one one zero seven hundred five. We could probably say the total in 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 an, in a, in a um, attached. We could add it to instead a schedule. of reading them all to we a could schedule. Add it to a schedule A and just have the total in the resolution. And if somebody was inquiring, can the mover and the secondary like maybe recommend that? I didn't move into I did the other. I did ten point five. Uh, who was our mover and sector on this one? Yeah. Oh, sorry, it, it wasn't done, right? So, okay, so let's do this again then. We can add as Schedule A. As per Schedule A, but I'll just type in uh, the, uh, the, the, uh, here, I'll tell you on the date. Result of the following unpaid utility accounts be added to the corresponding tax rules and notice be sent to each property owner detailing the amount being added to the taxes and advising that interest will accrue on the said amount in the same manner as for unpaid property taxes effective June the 1st, 2022 as per Schedule A totaling $11,432.78. Now we'll have a mover. Deputy Mayor Wintoni, seconded by Councilor Morio. Discussion? All in favor? It's carried. 10.5. Resolved that the financial statements for the four months ending April 30th, 2022 be adopted as received. Moved by Deputy Mayor Wintoni, seconded by Councilor Bobbick. Discussion? All in favor? It's carried. 11. 11.1. Resolve that bylaw number 4, 2022, being a bylaw of the town of Swan River to establish a rate for the collection of residential waste and recycling materials as a special service for the town of Swan River for 2022, be read a second time. Moved by Deputy Mayor Wintoni. Seconded by Councillor Friesen. Discussion? Councillor Bobbick. Rate increase. Has there been? Mm -hmm. For the residential waste recycling, yeah. So that would be, would it, would it be on the same level as the budget is 4.7? Um, <coughs> maybe CFO Ganita can maybe answer that. Is that part of the total of 4.7 is included in these? That's the overall. Overall, yeah. Yeah, Fogan, either, could you get the percentage? Uh, this is the special service levy for residential waste and recycling. Yeah, I think Councilor Bob is asking what is the change from yeah, uh, the previous. Pardon, Just the change from 2021 to 2020. Correct. Yeah. Yes, yeah. yeah. I don't know what that number is off the top of my head, but... I, yeah, but I mean, it, in the big picture of the 4.7, this is part of it, right? No, no, 4.7 is the budget. Uh, That's right, but I mean, this is part of the budget. Well, th this, it, is, this is approved in our budget, yeah. but a special service tax is outside of the, the general. No, like, no, special service tax is its own tax. Yeah, but it's right. also when the 4.7, this 
outside tax is part of the 4.7 oh, on the finance. You're it's saying the entire town budget? Exactly. Budgeting. Yes. It is. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Any further discussion? All in favor? It's carried. 11.2. Result of bylaw number 5, 2022, being a bylaw of the town of Swan River to establish a rate for police protection as a special service for the town of Swan River for the years 2022 and 2023, both inclusive, be read a second time. Moved by Deputy Mayor Wintoni, seconded by Councilor Morio. Discussion? All in favor? It's carried. 11.3. Resolve the bylaw number two, 6, 2022, being a bylaw of the town of Swan River, to establish a rate for the following special services fire protection, street lighting, street cleaning, sidewalks and boulevards, ditches and drainage, doctor recruitment, snow removal and dust control, road maintenance and re reconstruction, and emergency measures for the town of Swan River for the years 2022 and 2023. Both inclusive be read a second time. Moved by Councillor White, second by Councillor Friesen. Discussion? All in favor? It's carried. 11.4, resolve the bylaw 4, 2022, being a bylaw of the town of Swan River to establish a rate for collection of residential waste and recycling material for a special service for the town of Swan River for 2022, be read a third time and be passed. Moved by Councilor White, seconded by Councilor Bobbick. Discussion? Recorded vote, all in favor? It's carried. You got all that? Uh, hey. <laughs> Unanimous. Got it. 11.5, resolve the bylaw number 5, 2022, being a bylaw of the town of Swan River to establish a rate for police protection as a special service for the town of Swan River for the years 2022 and 2023, both inclusive, be read a third time and be passed. Moved by Deputy Mayor Wintoni, seconded by Councillor Friesen. Discussion? Recorded vote. All in favor? It's carried. Resolve, sorry, should call that out. 11.6. Resolve the bylaw number 6, 2022, being a bylaw of the town of Swan River to establish a rate for the following special services, fire protection, street lighting, street cleanings, sidewalks and boulevards, ditches and drainage, doctor recruitment, snow removal and dust control, road maintenance and reconstruction, and emergency measures for the town of Swan River for the years 2022 and 2023, both inclusive, be read a third time and be passed. Moved by Councilor White, seconded by Councilor Friesen. Discussion? Councillor Bobbick. Uh, if it's possible, I would like to know the percentages of each of these three ratings. It just uh, it has no bearing on our budget because we did pass it at 4.7, but I'd be interested in uh, the percentages of these. If you could get those for me, it'd be great. Okay. okay. Thank you. For the discussion, all in favor? Oh, sorry, recorded vote. All in favor? It's carried. It's unanimous. Okay. Resolve, resolve that uh, pursuant to sections 152.3 of the Municipal Act, Council go into committee and close the meeting to the public. We have um, uh, purchase services. Purchase service uh, items there, land sale agreement. Uh, Councilor Bobbick has uh, a couple items. Yeah, uh, yeah, RCMP concern and uh, purchase. Uh, purchase. On the same, on the other one? Purchase uh, service? Different oh, a different one. Okay. All in favor? Oh, sorry. Moved by. 
Councilor Bohovic, second by Councilor White. All in favor? It's carried. We're in camera. Resolved at this regular meeting of council. Now be adjourned at 9.47 p.m. Moved by Councilor Friesen, seconded by Councilor Bobic. Discussion? All in favor? Carried. We're adjourned. Thanks, uh, everybody else on the video tonight, and uh, have a good rest of your evening.